Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our uh, countdown for Christmas for the 12 days of Christmas where we're doing a shop your stash um, series. And today we are day two and I'm shopping my stash for die cuts. So <laughs> this is my box of die cuts. Um, I've probably got more than this if I'm truthful, but yeah, this is kind of the ones that I've actually been organized enough to kind of, you know, put into a container. Um, so I thought it was high time that I actually get on and use some of the die cuts that I've obviously had for, you know, some of them for years, some of them, you know, not so long. Um, so I'm just going to grab some out. Um, I have got some that are kind of complete in their packets. So I might actually grab some of those. Um, I feel like I've actually grabbed these out recently anyway. Um, but yeah, let's get, let's get some of these out and then we can kind of have a play with these and see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to get out um, a few and yeah, we'll kind of have a play with, with a few. So let's get this now big box off of my desk. So that was our little shop for the day. So shop in the stash. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I've brought along some of my decorative papers that I've made with my um, jelly plate. And I'm just going to make some of those pretty background papers that we made recently. Um, or similar to the ones that we made recently um, using obviously some of these pretty die cut shapes so yeah hopefully we can kind of you know get rid of some of these and you know I mean not saying I necessarily you know these have been bothering me they haven't been bothering me they've just been tidily put away but I mean of course you know what's the point in having all these things that you know we're just never using I might as well kind of try and actually use some of them so yeah, let's kind of see what we've got here. Now, I might be able to mix and match a little bit, um, you know, between the kind of packs of the die cuts. You know, some are maybe going to go better than others, but let's kind of just see what we can kind of come up with. So yeah, I've got a few, a few different ones. Like I say, I mean, some of these I've had for like absolutely, you know, an age to be honest. Um, but yeah, some I've kind of not had for so, so long. So. I thought what we'd do is just make a couple of kind of collage masterboards that they, you know, then we can make other things from. So this one's quite neutral. I might just put that to the side because I might have other things that we want to do with that. So I might as well use the ones that have got some more um, heavily patterned kind of pieces or heavily patterned kind of appearance. Um, yeah, so probably this one I think might be quite a good one. And maybe, maybe this one. So yeah, I think probably these two. So let's get these two out of the way. Now, obviously some of these packs, um, you know, I mean, some are kind of themed. I mean, this one obviously was a, you know, um, engagement or wedding or something like that. So, you know, it makes it more difficult to obviously use it in journals. So yeah, I mean, I probably can't really use this if I'm truthful. I could probably cut the gem off and I could use the you know, the circle, but I mean, to be honest, how stingy do I want to be? You know, I could be here kind of all day cutting bits off and things. And, you know, to be honest, it's probably not really time efficient. I'm probably better off just throwing away the pieces that I don't think I'm necessarily going to use. Um, Cause otherwise it just gets a little bit kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? In just the lengths that we'll go to, to actually try and use up stash that, you know, yeah, like I say, maybe better off actually just binning it. Um, so I'm going to put to the side any bits that I can't really use. I mean, like this, obviously, this is a wedding cake. I could definitely cut those flowers off and this isn't going to be too painful to actually kind of do that. So I'm just going to cut the flowers off of the cake straight away. Okay. So, yeah, we can kind of get those off. Um, again, I, I mean, I could keep that cake. I'm not going to because I'm just being ridiculous. Otherwise, you know, I'm trying to shop my stash because, well, because I'm not using it. And then I'm kind of making more stash by being so stingy with the leftovers, you know. It gets to the point where it's like, come on, be realistic. Be realistic. So I'm just going to cut off some of these white edges. I mean, some of them are not so bad some feel like they're quite big so yeah just any that i feel like they're quite big i'm going to get rid of so and again you know i might not even use all of these bits but if we just kind of have them prepped ready 
then you know we can use them or not as the case may be so yeah perhaps I should move these along a bit I'm so sorry I've got my cup of tea here so I was just really gasping because I've done a couple of videos already this morning so um yeah I was in need of a drink so this one for instance it's got the two rings together I mean it's pretty cute isn't it to be honest but yeah I don't really um think I'm going to use this anytime soon so I'm just going to cut these flowers off because I could definitely you know use these flowers more easily off of those rings so and like I always say I mean don't get too worried about how you cut the flowers out because you know nobody really knows how those flowers looked so long as they still vaguely resemble a flower I'm sure it's good enough so yeah let's just cut those off like that Okie dokie. Right, get rid of that to the side. So yeah, we've got another kind of flower there. Um, this one again, it's got quite a lot of white edge. So I'm just going to cut some of that white edge off. You know, like I say, I mean, I don't mind a bit of white edge, but some of them seem to have much more, you know, white edge showing than others. So yeah, if I just get rid of some of it, then, you know, I feel a bit happier then to use it. So and, you know, I've got some that are different to the others, if you see what I mean. So whether or not I would feel happy to mix and match the sets, you know, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it. But I mean, to be honest, you know, that looks OK, doesn't it? So I might be able to actually, you know, mix and match that perfectly easily. So hold on a second. Right. I had a call coming in and I thought, oh, is that going to um, switch my, you know, switch my camera off? touch wood thankfully it didn't appear to so right so let's just quickly cut down some more it was a number I didn't recognize so pretty sure pretty sure it's nothing too important well who knows <laughs> it might have been important but hey not as important as doing our videos so um yeah it wasn't um a local number so I mean it can't have been the school or anything like that so yeah fingers crossed it's not kind of anything too drastic Right, so, yep, I've got some little labely pieces as well. Now I've got these corners. I've got to be honest, I don't really overly like those, um, you know. So, yeah, perhaps it's time to stop hoarding them all together and get rid of them. I've got this flower again. Not that keen on it, to be honest, but, hey, maybe it would look okay if it's married up with some other stuff. I don't know. Um, you know, so, I mean, some of this stuff, you know, we keep and then we look at and think, oh, I don't even like that, to be honest. You know, why am I keeping things I don't even like? It's just purely because it feels so wasteful to get rid of it. But to be honest, the chances are, you know, I've bought most of these things maybe in a pack. And, you know, maybe the pack was £7 or something like that. But, you know, I've used most of the pack. Or, you know, the intention is when I stop holding it, I will use most of the pack. So, you know, it gets to the point where it's kind of like, well, that's just really mean and stingy, isn't it? To be just keeping things that actually... I've used the bulk of the pack. I've used the pieces that I bought the pack for. So, you know, it's probably now not necessary to be keeping the bits that I don't even perhaps like. So, yeah, you know, let's, let's try and kind of not be so ridiculous, I suppose. Right, so I'm just going to place some of these bits around on the, um, you know, what effectively is going to be like a masterboard, I suppose. So... And this is very similar to what we did um, in a previous video where we kind of made a masterboard from the patterned paper that we'd already kind of made, you know, on the jelly plate. So, yeah, I just want to kind of like fill up, really, fill up the spaces in a kind of randomy fashion. So, I mean, like here, I might prefer to cover up that frame and just have kind of like a little bit of it showing. I don't know. I don't know. Just trying to kind of get things to a point where they're actually more usable than they perhaps were. So, sorry, I'm just having a bit of my tea. So I might get gluing some bits down because, um, you know, like I always say, I find things easier once I've glued some bits down sometimes all the time they're kind of floating around it's it's almost like too much choice then and it just throws me off completely so by getting things glued down it sometimes just makes it more 
you know, helpful to then, you know, build the rest around it. Now, this one here is obviously from a different set. So what I'm going to do is just ink around the edges of these flowers, get rid of those white edges, and hopefully as well, kind of tie the color in a little bit more because obviously that looks quite grungy to me. And these are much more kind of, they're not pastel colors, but you know, they've got a more pastel kind of palette, haven't they? So by just getting rid of those white edges, it's kind of making them tie in a bit more to the other set, isn't it? And obviously, you know, I'm going to be using these by, you know, cutting this down and making tags and things like that. So, I mean, to be honest, again, it's going to then have a bit of a different appearance anyway. So, you know, I don't have to kind of worry too, too much. So again, let's just ink this up. <clears throat> just to get rid of those white edges a bit more like that. So I'm just going to see. So I like that. I mean, that looks quite pretty then, doesn't it? And I mean, obviously, you know, when I come to then cut this down and use it, it's going to take on a much different, you know, appearance anyway. So get this one popped down here. Okay, and I'll just get my wipe. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay, so that looks pretty, doesn't it? And then let's just get this one. So these ones, sorry, I did forget to say, but these are <gasps> Fabrica. Fabrica um, Walking on Clouds die cut pieces. Um, and the other ones I've had, I mean, literally for years. So these I've had for maybe a year. The other ones I've had for, I mean, literally years and years. And they were some um, K and Company ones. I don't know whether they're still available or not, because like I say, I've had them for such a long time. You know, they might not be available any longer, to be, you know, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yes, I've definitely had those for a long time in my stash. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're not available any longer. I don't even know if K and Company actually is, you know, is a company that's still running. Um, the only reason I say that is because, I mean, the, generally the only place that we could get K and Company stuff, you know, in the actual shops was in a shop called Hobbycraft. And I just haven't noticed that they seem to stock the K and Company range anymore. Whether that's, you know, just they don't stock it anymore, I don't know. I haven't really looked for K and Company stuff for a long time, I've got to be honest. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether they're still operating as a company. Um, you know, perhaps if you know, Woo! did you see that? <laughs> I don't know whether you saw that, but I'm sure you probably heard it. I dropped my, dropped my glue it, it sort of, well, sort of into my tea. Thankfully it kind of like <laughs> just knocked the edge of it and actually by a miracle did not spill any tea out or anything. So, um, yeah. So I apologise if I um, scared you there for a minute. Oh dear. And I was obviously gutted then because I thought, oh no, got no tea now. So yeah, right, let's just pop some of these around. I mean, I just love a floral, don't you? You know, they just look so pretty with everything, don't they? Yeah, I don't know about K and Company, to be honest. It's not really, um, you know, I haven't searched for anything made by K and Company, partly because, obviously, you know, if you haven't seen anything, you don't know whether you'd like anything. Um, but I used to like their stuff, so... Yeah, I don't know whether they still, you know, still are operating or not. I mean, to be honest, I know I've talked about this before, but over here, we really kind of don't have a great choice. Um, you know, we've got one or two shops, but they seem to be, you know, they carry the same sort of um, brands all the time, if you see what I mean. They don't kind of very often change it up. So, yeah, I mean, Hobbycraft, oh, I couldn't really tell you, to be honest. I mean, they carry a very, very small amount of Tim Holtz stuff, and I mean very small. Um We've got the range, obviously, which was where we went shopping with our um, beginners series. 
so they have quite a large range of things um, but again it's quite limited in the brands that they stock so um, yeah I mean I love the range don't get me wrong but they don't have a, a ton of different brands um, just trying to think really but that's really it I mean I guess there's some independent shops around there's certainly there's no independent shops um, you know near where I live which is such a shame because oh, I would be in them all the time <laughs> no I wouldn't I wouldn't because uh, of course that's why I'm shopping my stash because I'm covered covered in stash covered in stash <laughs> oh my goodness that's a um, confession isn't it covered in stash right I'm just going to have a quick sip of my tea now while it's still there before I knock it over again okay yeah I really love how these um, masterboards look they look really pretty don't they so I'm just wondering whether I could have this frame on here at all I don't know I mean bearing in mind again you know once this was cut down it's going to look very different I guess to how it looks now so oh let's go for it because otherwise you know what will happen is it will just go back into my you know my hoarded stash that never gets used up so or never gets used so yeah I should really make an effort to um, use these things I mean like I say partly because I've been hoarding some of these things you know for a, a long time and then partly you then forget what you've got you know then you buy other things that maybe you prefer and oh so so it goes on you know that never-ending kind of cycle as to why you actually never get round to using things okay wondering whether I could have that like that and I mean it's quite a long kind of leaf coming from that flower I don't know whether it looks really peculiar uh, let me just finish my tea oh, that's good that's one less hazard sat on the desk now so uh, yeah that's always good isn't it to have one less hazard on the desk uh, oh that's quite nice so I'm going to just cut this um, oval out because again I'm more likely to use this as the oval than I was you know the oval on the tag saying my angel so oh gosh I have made the worst possible job of cutting this oval out I mean it barely resembles an oval anymore oh my goodness that looks shocking absolutely shocking okay I guess we could layer it like that, couldn't we? <clears throat> I'm kind of just like, you know, sticking things very kind of ad hoc here. And then hopefully I'm going to kind of go in and fill back in. Or, yeah, not necessarily fill in all the gaps, but, you know, kind of just as, as and where. I'm just going to put other things there. So, um, yeah, it's going to be like an evolving... An evolving um, like masterboard really is the plan. Let's put it that side. Okay. Like that. And yeah, let's have that there. And now I'm just thinking perhaps have this one. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All fingers and thumbs, so dropping everything, sorry. Oh, butterfingers, as um, my mum would have said. Oh, honestly. Terrible, terrible butterfingers. Okay. So I might just cut this leaf off altogether because it just felt like that was in the way a bit. And that can go like sideways on, which just then makes it sit slightly better. So, I mean, don't be afraid to kind of cut into your pieces. Um, you know, if they're not kind of suiting you. So 
after like we cut the oval off of that tag you know if that's going to make it more um usable then that's better isn't it than kind of keeping something that actually then you know you're going to struggle to actually use it you're better off kind of cutting it down to a shape or a size or a you know style that then is usable okay Yeah, so I hope that you're feeling inspired to shop your stash. I mean, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm hoping that we've all got lots of stash to shop. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that I'm not alone with my craft stash. So, um, you know, I mean, I think as, as women, alongside having, you know, a lot of clothes, probably most of us, you know, we also probably have a lot of craft, craft goodies. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are um, able to shop your stash like I'm able to shop mine. I don't think I can use that, to be honest. Right, let's have a look. So I've got this one. Now I've got to be honest, I have hoarded this one because, well, of course, it's very pretty, isn't it? It's a lovely shape and it's got that gold and, you know. I mean, the irony is the gold now probably stops me from using it because it doesn't really feel... You know, it just feels maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit childish. I don't know what it feels really. But yeah, I'm now thinking we could use this maybe on here, you know, with some flowers. And yeah, use it that way, I think. So, you know, it's gone from being a hoarded piece now to actually, it's kind of past, it's not past its sell-by date, but you know what I mean? A bit like, you know, when you've got those clothes that... You know, you keep for best and keep for best and keep for best because you think, oh, you know, I really love that. Don't want to wear it. Don't want to spoil it. You know, I'll keep it for best. And then what happens is, you know, invariably you either outgrow it, you know, i.e. <laughs> maybe, you know, put on weight or whatever and, oh, it no longer fits. Or, you know, sometimes I've kept things and kept things and then actually they're no longer in fashion, you know. And I just think then, well... <sighs> What was the good of that? I might as well have just used it, to be honest. Instead, I've hoarded it, trying to keep it for best, trying to keep it nice, you know, trying not to spoil it. And actually, all that then happens, I don't wear it at all. Because then, lo and behold, it's it's gone out of fashion, you know, or, I don't know, maybe looks silly on me because, you know, I'm too old or something like that. So, um, yeah. And I think it's the bit the same with the craft things is you know I hoard them and hoard them because you know I really really love them or maybe they're really cute or you know I really like the colors or the style or you know whatever and then actually what happens is you look at them maybe like three years later I know that sounds terrible to say like you know you might not look at something for three years but I mean honestly three years just goes by doesn't it and you know so that genuinely can be the case I find and then when you do look at it you know I kind of then think, oh gosh, you know, now I can't really use that because that's really out of out of style kind of thing. Um, you know, so I mean, actually, what was I hanging on to it for? I'd have been better off, you know, using it in the first place. Okay. So, yeah. And I do really like this whole layering effect, you know, Again, it's just a way of changing sometimes, you know, unusable pieces. So, I mean, I'm calling this unusable now. It's gone from being hoarded to unusable. No, I'm not, I'm not meaning that. Um, but, you know, as an example, say like this oval that was on that tag, say an angel, which, you know, I wouldn't really use, to be honest. Just by cutting the angel part off, it's now very usable. Um, you know, so that's kind of also worth bearing in mind is because, you know, we can layer these things up. For instance, here, I've got the frame, I've got that other piece, I've got the oval, I've got the flowers. You know, there's lots of layers on there. But now that looks quite vintage and quite, you know, quite gorgeous, doesn't it? And obviously this is going to be a kind of masterboard. So, I mean, once I actually cut this down to use it as... Um, you know, I don't know, whatever I'm going to make from it, tags or journal cards or, you know, whatever, pockets or a cover or, you know, however we're going to use this, it's going to then look very, um, you know, usable. So these pieces that have been once unusable will then become very, you know, very usable. 
Okay, let's just cut this down. Oh, do you know, it just has kind of come over really grey. And it's been such a beautiful day. It's it's chilly, but it's been beautiful. And um, yeah, it now looks like it's possibly going to rain. I hope it doesn't. It's just been one of those crisp cold days. And um, I love those. They're just so nice. Oh, I might have this as a, a long one. So again, let's just see what else I've got here. <clears throat> uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, some of these bits I'm, you know, I'm going to struggle to use if I'm truthful, but, you know, some, yeah, I mean, there's this that's like a butterfly, I don't know, I, I don't like it very much, but again, I might be able to layer some bits you know, and then make use of it. So, maybe, maybe even like that. Let's just have a look. Or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, have I used all those other flowers? I must have done. Hmm. Must have used all of those other ones, would you believe? So, yeah, I'm going to have to um, get some more out. And you know what's going through my head, don't you? I mean, if you're anything like me, I'm now thinking, oh, no, I'm going to use the whole packet. What is wrong with me? You know, was that not the kind of objective, really, was to start using some of these bits and pieces? And now it's kind of looking like that is a potential, you know, potential thing. I'm now like, oh, no. You know, don't want to use all of them up. Oh, heaven forbid, you know. I mean, oh, what is wrong with me? I mean, that doesn't look too, too bad. Let me just see. Got some others here. So I'll just, again, just cut those white edges off just from one or two places that, you know, they were a bit too big. Okay, we'll just ink around here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so let's glue this one down. Okay. And then I had this to the side. Like that. Oh, what's happened to my flowers? Oh, here we go. For a minute, I thought, oh, I don't believe it. I've lost them now. Literally lost them. Okay. So, I mean, again, you know, that oval with the butterfly, I'd kind of been looking at for, you know, I'm not saying looking at consistently for years, but, you know, I've looked at it from time to time and thought, oh, well, how can I use that? Because, you know, the butterfly wasn't a very defined butterfly. It didn't look very nice. You know, it, yeah, was barely even a butterfly. Um, but now, just by kind of layering it up on here, it looks really, you know, really pretty, doesn't it? So it's turned it from a kind of unusable piece to a usable piece. Okay, <clears throat> right, let's just see if there's anything else that we can get down on here. So I've got like a space here. Let's just see. So I have got this, Sweethearts. Again, I mean, I would not really use that sentiment. It's got to be said. Um, let me cut this in half because I love a frame and a you know banner and things like that chopped in half so we we'll just ink that up a bit and I'll just see whether we could have this like off to the side and maybe mm, oh let's have a look memorable I mean that's quite a cute banner to be fair and I could definitely 
definitely disguise that with just some flowers at the top. <clears throat> mm. oh, I don't know now. See these again, I'm probably not really likely to use those, I've got to be truthful. I'm also probably not likely to use those hearts, you know. So I might just, yeah, take out all these bits that I'm really not likely to use. This flower, again, not really likely to use it on the cake. So I'll just cut it off, you know, cut it off of the cake and then it becomes something I can use. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then I was very good. I just chucked the cake straight in the bin rather than keep hold of it, hoarding it. Start as I mean to go on. <clears throat> oh, that's a bit of a funny shape um, line of flowers now, isn't it? So let's just cut that off there. And then we'll have two that are much more usable. So we've got a little kind of cluster here. And then we've got this one here. So I wonder if there's any more of those little frames or, you know, thingamajigglies. Oh, I've got here some... This is a stamped piece that I must have stamped, oh my goodness, years ago. Years and years ago. You know, when those barcode stamps were all the rage. I don't know if you remember that, but I mean, it was probably part of like scrapbooking, really. Um, but yeah, I did really like the um, barcode uh, stamps. I thought they were really, really nice. So yeah, I still use them from time to time, actually. I mean, I don't necessarily stamp them, um, but I do still, you know, use the ones because I pre-stamped loads. So I've still got some left, you know, again, in that die cut box, actually. I think they probably are. Um, so yeah, I do go through phases where I do still perhaps use them. In fact, perhaps that's another thing that we will get out during this little series, you know, and make some things with the, with the little barcode stamps. Okay. I'll just stick that down on there. I mean, how gorgeous does this piece of paper look? It's so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now, do I want to go over the word memories or do I want to go over the barcode more? Or do I just want to go off to the side? Probably better actually off at the side, isn't it? Yeah. Because otherwise it's a bit weird. It's just got a barcode with no word. Or it has the word but just like a little bit of the barcode showing, which again, just a bit weird. So yeah, that's better like that, isn't it? So I've just got kind of a couple of like holes, if you know what I mean. So, you know, hopefully kind of just fill in a couple of the gaps. So we've got, you know, much more going on on here. So let's just check. Oh, I've got, got another one of these. So yeah, let's just ink that up. Okay, so yeah, we could definitely have this one. Let's just see. Could have it coming out there. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm just kind of wondering, like, when I cut this, you know, is that going to be just really odd? Or would it look nice? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's better off there got to try and be safe you know because um if I try and be too wacky with my board I'm just not going to use it because I won't like it so yeah there's no point being off the wall wacky is there you know because you know you're just not going to like the board then and then that will be something else that's then become unusable <laughs> so yeah not to mention obviously a complete waste of time doing this so oh there's just a lone flower down there
Okay, so we're going to have that there. I'm just wondering, I've got this flower that I said I wasn't that keen on, but obviously I'm just trying to disguise where it says sweethearts or, you know, whatever it said. Um, so I'm just wondering, oh, it doesn't really look very nice, does it? Nope, it did not look very good. Um, I'm just having another quick look to see. Got a little tiny rose here I could just cut out. Should we do that? So again, just cut that out. So, I mean, this is another instance of, you know, this tag, I'm not that likely probably to use it. It says beautiful you, you know, it's just probably not really something I would necessarily use these days. So I'm thinking we can cut out obviously the rose. So straight away we've used, you know, some of it and then I'm thinking we might be able to cut out the word beautiful as well and then we've used kind of two you know two parts of it oh that flower doesn't really go there does it oh well let's just go for it so yeah let's put that one down and this part Okay, like that. Oops. Okay, and then the word beautiful, we could probably put somewhere as well. So again, just cut that out. Not the word you, because I probably wouldn't really want that on here, but the word beautiful, definitely. That can be incorporated on here, can't it? <clears throat> so, and I might just rough that up a bit. Okay. Again, just rough that up around the edges. Like that. Yeah, I mean, I quite like that in there. Okay, just pop that down there. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, what? What happened with that? Where was that one? Oh, I don't know now. Was that there or I don't know? Maybe we should have it here because I feel like that was a bit of a bit of a gap there with not a lot going on. So, yeah, I know it didn't come from there. It's just that I had noticed that that was a bit of a space and thought, oh, you know, need to fill in that space. So it just worked out well that there was a kind of lone piece there floating around. Right. Let's just check now whether we've got anything else that can go here with this flower. Again, I've got another one of those ovals, but to be honest, I'm feeling, I'm feeling I might have too many ovals now. Um, oh, we've got this, but do you know, I'm thinking we could use this on another one. So probably another day. Uh, not necessarily in this series because, you know, I don't want to kind of just do all the same, you know, pieces and you'll all be bored stiff kind of watching the same, the same pieces from my stash, if you see what I mean. So, um. Yeah, probably. So again, just cut this in half so we've got, you know, a couple of bits that we can use. So, yeah, I'm thinking kind of we can have that there. Although now I'm thinking actually that might have been quite nice as a kind of central banner. Well, I could always hang on to this and then we could glue it together. Let's just check. Do you know, I'm thinking, thinking maybe, oh, I don't know. I don't know now. Hmm. Maybe there. Um, I haven't used any of these tassels either. They're very tiny. Hmm. Not sure. Let me just cut around there because again they've got lots of the white showing which somehow looks even worse because they're very tiny. It feels like that's all white if you know what I mean. Oh actually that is quite cute. 
That is quite cute. That looks much nicer than I thought, to be honest. I did not expect to like that at all. But actually, it looks quite sweet. So, yeah, I might, might use some of those after all. And they were kind of headed for the bin just now. Because I was thinking, oh, you know, how am I going to use those? But yeah, I'm now kind of like, oh, they're really nice. So I might just have a flower here with this. There we go. Yep. Okay. And this one. Okay, glue that down. <laughs> Press that. <clears throat> Right, I don't want these tassels because they're black, well, grey. Um, you know, not because I don't like black or grey, because as you know, I love nothing better than using black in my journals, but they just wouldn't go on this masterboard. So this one, pink, this one's definitely going to go. Let's just cut around the white edging. Again, just clip it that side as well. Oops. Okay, where should we have this one? Oh, I like that, I think. Just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, you never can tell. I was literally thinking these were going to be absolutely rubbish. But they are actually very, very cute. Let me just see whether I've got any more of those pink tassels because, um, yeah, I'm now really liking them. So... Yeah, let's just quickly check. Oh, I've got here, like, just just together. Hmm. Oh, definitely won't use that, but I guess I could use the circle as a kind of background. Oh, I love that little hot air balloon. That's really cute. Yeah, that is cute. I have not seen that. Right, so. No, can't really incorporate blue on here. Okay, I was going to chuck these um, leaves out, but to be honest, I'm kind of thinking, why am I chucking these out? Because just because they don't go with this, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do when I come to some other ones, but yeah, maybe they would go quite nicely on some others. So yeah, I'm not going to chuck those out now. I'm going to continue to hoard those. So I hope that you like the masterboard that we did. I mean, I've only obviously got time for this one probably because this has taken us so long to do. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you like it. I mean, I love how it looks, to be honest. So, I mean, still got a lot of stash here. But hey, I mean, we're not actually stash busting as in getting rid of every single thing. We are just trying to, um, you know, use some of our stash, not use our stash up, if you see what I mean. So yeah, I really hope that you like the masterboard and um, I hope you will join me tomorrow for another one of our um, Countdown for Christmas Shop Your Stash series. So thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks then. Bye.